How is virtual reality used in digital heritage preservation? Have you ever wished you could step back in time and experience history firsthand? Virtual reality, often known as VR, is making that dream a reality in the world of museums and cultural heritage. Let's take a closer look at how this technology is transforming digital heritage preservation. One of the most exciting applications of virtual reality is immersive site reconstructions. Museums can recreate historical locations, like the ancient city of Pompeii or the Mayan temples, allowing visitors to explore these sites as they once were. Imagine walking through a bustling marketplace or witnessing a historical event in a simulated environment. These reconstructions often include interactive elements, making the experience even more engaging. Another important use of virtual reality and preservation is digital conservation. Museums create detailed three-dimensional models of fragile sites using techniques like photogrammetry. This process captures the physical space in high detail and preserves it in a virtual format. By doing this, museums can safeguard heritage from threats like erosion or natural disasters, ensuring that future generations can access these sites even if the physical locations deteriorate. Virtual exhibitions are also gaining popularity. Fully virtual museums, such as the Museum of Other Realities, allow people from around the world to access collections without any physical limitations. Institutions like Google Arts and Culture host digital galleries where users can navigate three-dimensional rendered sites and examine artifacts closely. This makes cultural heritage accessible to anyone, anywhere. Accessibility is another key benefit of virtual reality. It removes geographical and physical barriers, allowing remote visitors to experience heritage sites. For example, after the Notre Dame fire, virtual reality experiences provided tours during the ongoing reconstruction. This technology is particularly beneficial for individuals with mobility challenges, offering immersive access to spaces that might otherwise be hard to reach. Educational storytelling is yet another way museums use virtual reality. They create narrative-driven experiences, like walking through a medieval town or participating in significant historical events. These immersive stories capture the attention of younger audiences and combine education with interactive technology, making learning fun. Collaboration is essential in preserving cultural heritage, and virtual reality facilitates this. Institutions around the globe work together to digitize shared heritage. Projects like Open Heritage compile three-dimensional models from various sources, creating centralized repositories for research and public access. This collaborative approach ensures that diverse cultural narratives are preserved and made widely available. Several museums have already embraced these applications. The Bautzi Rossi Museum, for instance, used virtual reality to reconstruct its archaeological site, allowing visitors to explore ancient caves and artifacts virtually. Similarly, the Notre Dame Cathedral utilized virtual reality to provide historical context and real-time updates during its restoration. Google Open Herita hosts 26 global sites, offering comparative views of their past and present states. By integrating virtual reality, Museums are not just preserving cultural heritage. They are also redefining how audiences interact with history. This technology merges preservation with dynamic storytelling, making cultural experiences more inclusive and engaging than ever before.